everyone, welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the title down below. In this video I'm going to be doing a cook with me of my roast pork dinner tonight. So, pork is already in the oven. So pretty much all I've done was I took the pork out of the refrigerator earlier on in the morning. I took it out of the packaging. I've done some more extra score lines. And then I just put the pork on the chopboard when I was ready to start actually cooking it. I salted it uh, with just rock pink Himalayan rock salt. I only use that one just because that's what we have been using lately. I've actually been loving that so much more than normal salt, but use whatever salt you normally would use. And some pepper. And as you can see, I rolled it around and so on and so forth. So that went into the oven at 220 degrees fan force for 40 minutes. And then I'm going to be putting it in for 25 minutes per 500 grams. So in my case, with the size of my pork that I'm using, it's going to go in the oven at 118 degrees fan fours for an extra 50 minutes and then it will be done so along with the pork I used a carrot straight away I generally would have used two or three carrots but we only had one little sad carrot left so I used that little one up and yeah we'll just have half a piece of carrot each um, so that's perfectly fine but yeah otherwise I would have used two or three carrots I still would have sliced it in half like I did and that's just a little bit of oil with salt and pepper as well. And that just went into the same container as the pork. So then when it cooks, it gets all the juices from the pork. And it'll be really, really yummy. So with that all done and dusted, the pork, I've just now put it down to 180 degrees. It's been in for 40 minutes already. So I'm going to start prepping the other veggies and get the other veggies on to go. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is potatoes. So I'm just going to chop off the skin of my potatoes obviously use a peeler if you prefer <laughs> obviously use a peeler if that's what you prefer but i'm just going to use the knife and then we'll chop it up into cubes chuck it in the tray and season it with salt pepper and oil and along with the potatoes as well i'm going to be garlic and some onion and I'm going to season all of it up with some salt, pepper, and oil. And I just want to move them around so they're not touching each other. And give them a little space, a little room, you know. Alright, so with these pumpkin, I hope that little edit worked out. <laughs> I was just trying something. With the pumpkin, just obviously sliced it into kind of thin slices. I'd say about a centimetre to a centimetre and a half thick. And I just rubbed a little bit of oil on them, no salt or pepper for those. And this tray is going to now go in the top shelf. Currently the pork is on the top, so I'm going to put the pork down onto the bottom and this tray is going to go up to the top. Alright, change of plans. The pork is too fat, won't fit on the bottom shelf, and because everything's hot and heated, I don't want to change the shelves around. So the pork's staying up there, and the potatoes and pumpkin are just going to have to be on the bottom shelf. But we'll pop the timer on for, we'll say, 30 minutes. I'll rotate the potatoes and pumpkin, and then we'll go back in for another 10, 10 to 15. Alright, and the last of my veggies, I got some water with some frozen garden peas down there, and I've just shredded up some cabbage up in the top and this is like the steamer steamer kind of pot thing so that's going to i'm not going to turn it on now i'm going to wait for maybe i don't know 15 20 minutes and then i'll pop that one on The pork is nice and ready to crackle. Worked in some spots, some, most of it's soft. I could just cut it off and pop it back in, but I'm not going to because Nick, I don't know why, but he does prefer it to be soft and chewy. So 
That worked out perfect for us, I suppose. I can have the crunchy bits, he can have the soft bits. We'll be all fine. And then the carrots, look at that. Yum. So, cabbage is steaming away with the oh, peas. Ooh, that steam's hot. And that's how the veg in there is looking. I'm about to flip them over and turn them. And I don't know, I reckon this will be ready in about 20 minutes. So this guy will rest and we'll serve it up and eat. Yum. So this is our dinner done. I'm so excited to plate up and eat. So we got the roast pork, peas, cabbage, the pumpkin, potatoes, carrot, and some gravy. Normally, like nine times out of ten, I do prefer applesauce with my pork, but we don't have any, so I'm just doing gravy for the whole lot. And also, when it comes to roast meals, I absolutely love a creamy dish, whether it be like cauliflower cheese, or just creamy cauliflower, creamed leeks baked potatoes, something creamy. I just think it goes so well with a roast meal, but it's at the end of the week. We didn't really have those ingredients or any cream, so we're just doing what we have, which is this, and it smells so good. So, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.